a sprawling memorial outside Dallas Police Headquarters. Thank you, for all that. Thank you so much. A single sign of unity. Why, thank you. In a city and a country that now seems defined by its division. But here, in this community, still mourning the loss of five police officers killed in an ambush with racial tensions laid bare, there is one thing that seems to unite all races, fear. I'm afraid you never know what's lurking in the shadows or around that corner as you turn the street, whether you're in your car, whatever. Um, I'm just, I'm scared that it's going to, I'm going to be in crossfire or it's going to happen again, whether it involves me or not. I don't like to see this. I just feel like it's not going to get better. I just feel like it's going to continue to get worse. That is the backdrop that met U.S. President Barack Obama as he arrived in Dallas. All of it's left us wounded and angry and hurt. It's as if the deepest fault lines of our democracy have suddenly been exposed, perhaps even widened. And although we know that such divisions are not new, Though they've surely been worse in even the recent past, that offers us little comfort. Unlike his past speeches after mass shootings, this was not a president hoping to comfort people, just the opposite. He said it was time for the country to start having uncomfortable conversations about race. We asked a Dallas police officer about his feelings when he pulls over a black motorist, and his response highlighted the problem. I'm not going to answer that. That's, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's kind of a loaded question. You know, you, you treat everybody fairly and you treat everybody the same. Obama argued police don't. The statistics prove it. But he says this should be much more than just a time to talk about racial tension, but inequality and gun control as well. This was an impatient president. I've hugged too many families who've lost a loved one to senseless violence. And I've seen how a spirit of unity born of tragedy can gradually dissipate. A call to action, but to a U.S. Congress known for its dysfunction and in a political year when usually nothing gets done from a president with just six months left in office, realizing in that time it's likely he'll have to give another speech just like this one after the next mass shooting. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Dallas, Texas.